everyone. Welcome to another Finally Friday video. I'm going to be trying out a new product or at least a new product to me. I saw this a few months ago and hadn't had a chance to try it out until now. But it's this um, Invisibles line from Heidi Swap. And the whole idea is that they have white papers and chipboard and, and chipboard pieces that have like a glossy coating on them and sort of invisible unless you see in the right light and you you can do different techniques with this. The technique that I saw was one that was demonstrated at CHA last January so I'm going to be kind of playing off of that and I'm going to be using some uh, Colorbox Q Chalk ink. This is one that's put out by Hero Arts I believe and you can find it in the two-piece store and I'm just going to you know this this is kind of a cool set of inks because it has kind of a gradient of colors in it and so I'm just going to use each color in the order there shown in in the ink and all you do is just get some ink going and while it's still a little bit wet go ahead and just spread it around a little bit you can see how it kind of resists some of you who are um, stampers and have been stamping for a while probably have seen a technique similar to this with um, emboss resist it's kind of the same idea where you can ink up your paper after you've embossed The thing that's fun about these uh, Heidi Swap uh, Invisibles line is that there's a lot of kind of ornate patterns. In fact, I think some of them are called ornate, like the product name is actually ornate. Um, so it'd be really great for like a wedding album or something like that where you have specific colors for your wedding because then you can just apply your your color that you for your wedding. I'm sort of overlapping the color so that I can get a little bit of a blend. And really I don't need one that's this long for the uh, card I'm gonna make but I'm just gonna keep going. This one was really really wet. It's kind of an overpowering color isn't it? <laughs> So you can kind of see how that gradients all the way up. So I'm just going to spread it a little bit this way just to get it to blend a little bit better. It's really pretty. That's like the first time I've actually really tried it in a larger piece. So I'm actually, I'm just going to finish off this end. And I think I'll just have it kind of go back to this red color. It's not super messy. I've got a little bit on my hands, but not too bad. Okay, that's kind of a cool technique. A really pretty color for it, too. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to turn the camera off, and I'm going to come up with my card design, and then I'll be back here and meet you guys again. Hi, everyone. I'm back and ready to make my card. I've drawn a little card sketch right here with the butterfly and some ribbon and things like that. So I'm just going to be referring to that while I make the card. Starting out with a dot stamp from Hero Arts. Stamping it with some Versamark ink. I'm going to do a little bit of embossing. The 
next thing I need to do is cut down some pink paper. Actually, before I put that on, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I have this Amy Butler stamp set. I thought the design of these stamps in particular complemented the Heidi Swap invisible stuff. Okay, and I think well, we're going to test out some ink colors. When you're stamping on top of colored ink, uh, colored paper, you always want to try out a couple different ink colors to find what's going to give you the effect you want. I kind of like how light this one is. This one is it's sort of like a blush pink color. I think I'm going to go with that one. I might have it overlap a little bit. So I'll only put adhesive on that one end. Okay, and then I'm going to take some white cardstock, and I'll be using one of the darker colors because I really want it to show up. Let's see that color, or that color. I think I'm going to go with this color. It's a really pretty intense ink. This um, set of inks is the Valentine ones, I think. Really hoping it's not sold out at two piece. These tend to sell out quickly once they get them in stock. Okay, that's pretty dark. I think just for the heck of it, I'm gonna stamp this other color as well. And I'm just going to have the butterfly kind of hanging off the side there. So, to put it on the card with some dimensional adhesive. Since it's going to hang off on this one side right there, I'm only putting the adhesive on one side of the butterfly. Okay, and then also on the back. Oh, just kidding. One final thing I need to do. As usual, I always forget to round the corner until the very end. Okay. Okay. And there's this week's Finally Friday video using a little bit of Heidi Swap Invisibles paper and Amy Butler for Arcane Company stamps and some hero art, hero art stamps as well. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching.